Hey guys, it's Ryan from Motion Dynamics here and this is just going to be a quick instructional video as to how to wire up the 25 and 50 amp unidirectional control boards. Alright, so we'll start off with all the little terminals up the back here. I don't know if you can see, I'm very sorry about the light. We're really working with pretty average light here. So we've got all of these down the back here. So these first two are for battery positive, motor positive, motor negative and battery negative. So we'll go ahead and hook those up here. Now I should clarify that these little tutorials, they're really just to kind of supplement the um, the instruction guides that already come with the controllers. Uh, all the information that you need to know is in there. This is just going through it, just in case you need a walkthrough. Alright, so we'll get to all those little trim pots to do. Later, for a moment, we're just going to plug a potentiometer in, just in the front here, so it's right, my hand's in the way. You can see our pot just there, so we're just going to plug it back in there. And this is a 10k pot, just like the ones that are supplied with these units. And we'll just screw that in. Sorry about my hand in the way. Alright. So now is the bit where we get to learn about what all these little jumpers do, just because um, you'll actually need one of these right now. So the first jumper, just in the front there, now that determines, sorry, not this fan, that's real. This one just determines whether it's um, a potentiometer control or a throttle control. So we're going to put those two over the P, which means it's a potentiometer. Now it'll be over the other one uh, if you're using a throttle, which I'll show you in just a moment once we've displayed this one. Now this is a soft start. This isn't necessary to have on, but we'll show you the soft start just in case. And finally, this one down the back there. That one is only relevant if you have a throttle on, which at the moment we do not. Uh, but that one just controls whether it's a um, hand throttle or a foot throttle. And um, if you go hand throttle, you put it on the H. If you've got a foot throttle, you put it on the F. Pretty straightforward. <coughs> All right, so now we'll just play with the trim pots. Now we've got frequency, which is the one at the back here. So we'll just turn it all the way up for this one. Uh, we've got low voltage cutout, which we'll again turn all the way up. And we've got the um, uh, the pot start adjust, which we won't play with just for a moment. Just I'll play with that once that one's on. This one is completely irrelevant for the potentiometer only. This is the throttle start adjust. We'll use that one when we plug in the throttle. So let's just turn that one on. Or I don't know if you can see it, but just in there, the little on LED has come on. And if you can see, the motor's actually already going. So what we'll do is we'll make sure that this one's turned all the way down and then we'll take the start and we'll move that just clockwise a little bit. Now I don't know if you can hear that, the difference between that, there's just a little bit of a frequency change there. So you can hear the motor's trying to go, but now it's not. So that's just where we have that one as default. That should be where it is when you receive the unit. Now we'll just, sorry about the hand in the way once again, we'll just go this one, and then we've got some variable speed control. So that's the motor's at max speed at the moment. It's quite a nice smooth little motor, it's just, just one of the 12 volt, 25 watt ones that we have for sale on the website. And then we'll just run a little bit less, so you can... And yeah, we've got just a whole range in there. Once again, I'm very sorry about my hands. It's just the only way we can record these. All right. So let me turn that one off. Switch off the power. You can see that that little LED is starting to power down and now it's off. All right, so now we'll show you the throttle. Now, the throttle one is a little tiny, teeny bit harder to wire up than the potentiometer. So you've got a foot throttle here, so I don't know how much of it you can see. Oop. So you've got your um, three little wires there. You've got your red, you've got your black, which is just here, here, and you've got your white, which is over here. 
So those will be the three used to connect that up. Now you might notice that in the instructions it should say red, green, black, which is RGB. Now you'll notice that the red, I'll just move this over here once again, I'm so sorry for the shadows. Terrible, terrible camera, cameramanship of me. So we'll put the red in there, we'll pop the black in over here where it belongs, if I can actually get it in. Oh, there we go. And now all that's left is the G, which should have been in the middle, but in this case it's white. That's not super uncommon among throttles. Um, usually you'll find that the black and the red are pretty consistent, and that middle one will change every now and then. That's not a huge deal, as long as you know that you can get around it. As long as your R and your B are in the right place. Oh, that one, one's actually just falling out, so we'll deal with that. Goodness. Oh, so all of those are in. As per usual, something pops off. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, so now before we turn it on, we're actually just going to change this one over to a throttle control. Now I'm actually going to move this little thing back to the middle. It won't do anything, I just it'll just be handier to have in the middle later on. And it's already on foot, that last one. So that's where you need that one to be. Let's pop that back where you can see it. And it's going to slide a bit. What can we do about that? Alright. Power that on. All right. Now, do you see how that takes a few seconds to get to the max speed? It won't after that, but we'll actually just reset that because that was a great way of showing you the soft stars. Just put that one back on. And just take a note of how it takes a few moments to get right up to its max speed. And that's full throttle. So it just takes a moment, but after that it'll go all the way. That's just the soft start. So we have two of those. We have that soft start, and we have a different soft start. And we'll just reset this one again. Very easy. And now, bam, straight into full throttle. Alright, so that one just build up. They both build up a little bit differently, but uh, if you need to use one of the soft starts, they're pretty easy to figure out which one you're going to use. There we go. Alright, so that is the 25 and the 50s. They both work the same. They're both wired up the same. Uh, the only difference between the two is that one has the extra MOSFET on the thing, one has the extra diode in the thing. Yeah, that's Pretty much all there is to it. They're you know, just really easy to use. Uh, really easy to use boards. So we hope you enjoyed that, and we uh, hope that one helps. Have a great afternoon.